last week was good and bad i don't know it was like good because everything is great i'm super blessed and whatever but i've also been unemployed for eight months like that eight month anniversary i guess happened last week and it was just like it's like taking away from my happiness in the moment so it was like i was happy everything was going really well but i wasn't able to be like as present with that as i wanted to but we did some nourishing things, kind of some things to kind of like help me get back on my path. Last week, Aaron had a weird schedule that we went to the grocery store and got a couple of things. Frosty's East Washington. We walked down to the farmer's market. There's one on the near east side of downtown. It's so cute. It's really quaint. There's kind of just like one stand of everything instead of like the one that happens in the downtown one that's like four blocks and like there's multiples of each kind of like produce. We got peaches and strawberries. After that, we walked up the bike path to this place called the Mediterranean Joint. It's heard really good things and it was good. It did not disappoint. Um We got hummus, pita, falafel, extra pita, a euro wrap, and of course some fries. The falafel plate that we got came with rice and like a little salad. I usually don't eat rice at other restaurants. Other restaurants. I don't usually eat rice at restaurants. I usually only eat my own rice. Like the rice is good, I ate it all. And for dessert, I cut up some strawberries that we got from the market and I served them with some chocolate cashew frozen deliciousness and broke up some Oreos. We were having just like a real big treat craving. Mm. Uh, and then the next day for breakfast, I had strawberries again, but I did it with a peach, yogurt, almond butter, and granola. Ate it on the porch. Next day, I went over to Devin's. He taught me how to use his bike pump, which I'm gonna keep in here, just in case I need to reference it again. It seems pretty easy, like I shouldn't forget it, but. Did you, I don't know how you did this, but I'll just yeah. like, I assume, okay. <laughs> so there's two valves. Uh -huh. I always use this one, because mine's uh, Presta, and yours is Schrader. So we'll just pop that on till it let an air out, and then we gotta use the lever. That lever locks it on, so you can okay. push that lever away from the valve. Okay. Five, but you'd probably be good at like. 
After that, we walked over to the lake and we enjoyed a nice little sunset after dinner. I mean, like, look at that. <laughs> he found a blender for hippie Christmas. Made banana frozen treat and then a cookie sand. I'm gonna call it sand. I think it was supposed to be like a crumble, but it was just like a pretty fine grit. And then we added that to our dessert bowls. And we like did <laughs> And Thursday, I met up with my mom. We had dinner at one of my favorite vegan places it's called the Green Owl. And I had a like a black bean bowl. I didn't like it. They put cilantro on it. I don't like cilantro. It didn't say it was gonna have cilantro on it. I don't know why people do that. I hate it. It was kind of a bummer. I had a really great time with my mom. We took pictures. After that, I went and biked on the bike path over to my friend Haley's garden. I didn't really need to water it at all. Which it rained a lot. So I just went over there and harvested a few things. Oregano, sage, some tomatoes. And then just kind of played around. It was the sunset. Someone was playing music in the background. It was really romantic. And then I bike back home um, through downtown past the Capitol. Also this weekend, my friend Amalia stopped by for a little chat. It's always good when she comes over. She's a Pisces. We always talk about just kind of like dreamy stuff and just kind of like that sort of woo-woo oracle space. Super fun. And after that, I went over to my friend Haley's house. She also has a bunch of plants there. So I watered her plants um, and then did some harvesting of their basil and chives. I brought Iha with me. They have a dog of their own and I don't know, she should, she likes to eat other dog's food, obviously. So I gave her some of Cora's crunches and she enjoyed the heck out of those, even though they were like way too big for her. For dinner, Aaron made sopes with some masa he found and was excited to use. It was a little bit different, but I kind of enjoyed it. And then we had a really big salad with that. On Saturday, Devin and I got out of town to meet up with some dance friends. First, we had to stop at Green Owl again. I just decided, I, I had a craving. I really wanted to go back and get just kind of what I usually get, which is a buffalo chicken wrap. Um, it's just, it's so good. It's nothing fancy, um, but I really like those. It's my favorite. And then I got fries and then I ate that in the car. So we drove out of town. It was kind of a long drive, but it was so beautiful. We got into like the Driftless region and we're able to like set up on a friend's land, listen to some really good music and just like see the stars. It was so beautiful to just like be out in nature. Yeah, go out there.
It's a real vibe. Ooh. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'll be happy. I'll be happy. Next morning, we brought some coffee and breakfast and enjoyed that before we got going. We had to stop at Dunkin' Donuts on the way home um, for more coffee. And then yeah, that was the weekend.